Playoff hockey has returned to Vegas, and with it, a new addition to T-Mobile Arena. As the Golden Knights try to defend their Stanley Cup, and for years to come, there's a giant dragon protecting the fortress. With wings stretching 34 feet and being mostly 3D printed, the dragon on the castle is fire. The animations bring all the smoke, and the planning behind the medieval model is expansive. Are you with us? We spoke to a Golden Knight staff member who had a key role in designing the dragon, bringing an idea to reality when it was unveiled Saturday night in the Knights' first playoff game of the season. Well, Tower, the dragon on the castle, it's a masterpiece, <laughs> and it surprised many fans on Saturday night. Where did this idea come from? Great question. Yeah, it's uh, actually been two years in the making. We've been we've been thinking about it. I've had the renderings on my wall above my desk for about two years, and it's gone through a couple iterations. And we've had to just wait for the right time to debut it. And we thought when we were coming in to defend our championship, this is the perfect time to do it. The team kind of got together. Our entertainment team got together and was like, "It'd be really, really cool to do a dragon." We have the helmet that the guys skate out of, mm -hmm. and then before the dragon, there was another helmet up at the castle. And we were like, "Well, we don't need two helmets. Let's put a dragon up there." And uh, we work in an organization that just kind of fosters those kind of insane, crazy ideas. And uh, we ran with it and we talked to a, a local company here, Water Effects, who built it and built a lot of the stuff that you see in here. And uh, they knocked it out of the park as they usually do. Were there other ideas? Any runner ups? <sighs> no, honestly, it's sometimes those ideas just kind of come and you're like, yeah, you got to do it. Mm -hmm. um, and last year we introduced a dragon on ice projection, everything like that, and mm -hmm. the fans really took to that. And that was kind of like our testing ground a little bit to be like, hey, we want to bring a dragon live, but if we're going to have a physical live prop, like you can't change it. And a projection, if we do it and the fans don't like it, we can change that pretty easily. So last year we kind of tested out the waters a little bit, and then um, it seemed to go pretty well. And we're like, okay, let's let's get it going. Let's get a close to life size as you could kind of get for a dragon. The thing that we really wanted was we wanted the wings to be larger than the castle itself to kind of really kind of dwarf the castle and make the dragon feel bigger. Um, the first iteration of it was just the head. We didn't have any claws or anything like that, but over time, and again, that's why you kind of wait sometimes, make sure it's right and make sure it's perfect. Over time, it, it got to a pretty, pretty good spot, I think. Well, the dragon on the castle has had two years in the making. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So how satisfying was it on Saturday night to see yeah. the whole crowd in awe? <laughs> it was it was really cool. It was a really cool pop. We were excited because we had the curtains and everything up kind of shrouding it. And at that point, people kind of knew like the fire returns and all, we had a lot of dragon imagery and a lot of our marketing, and everything like that. And on our giant billboard on the 215, there's a dragon. So people kind of maybe allude to it. So even if you knew or had an idea that, yeah, there, there's probably going to be a dragon up there. You had no idea what it looks like, how big it was what it's going to do and when we finally were able to drop the curtain and you could hear the whole crowd go oh no way like that's that's what we do it for that's why we, that's that's why we're here and you know we lost that game unfortunately but our hope is we create memories and we create moments and hopefully the dragon reveal was a moment that in two years from now people that were at the game Saturday they're not going to remember the score but they might remember like yeah but I was right underneath the dragon and it grew cryo right over my head that's what they're going to take away from it and that's that's what we're hoping for. I liked it I, I go to a lot of games it was a nice touch something different so playoffs are exciting so I liked it a lot. Oh it's very cool it was very cool. Well I'm sure you've had a whole lot of feedback from fans what are your <clears throat> favorite ones? Um, I, I've seen a lot of people, just a lot of Game of Thrones gifts have been tweeted, uh, <laughs> tweeted out, which is really cool. And uh, yeah, just a lot of fans that are just like, yeah, this is exactly, this fits perfectly with our brand. And, uh, and that's, our brand always leads and we're super big on that. And every clip that you see and all of our opens that we do on the ice, like it's super, super medieval and on brand and Vegas Golden Knights and huzzah, that kind of stuff. And this is just a, a different way. This is going to completely change the way we utilize the castle and do our opens and we have a ton of ideas for it that might be two years away from now but we have a ton of ideas for how we can continue to amp it up a little bit and one of those ideas that we saw on saturday was whenever the dragon breeze it shoots out fire on the <laughs> ice yes. and zaps the star yeah so there's other ideas in the works on how the fire could be incorporated onto the ice oh yeah 100 percent. and it's not just the fire on ice projection there's things that we can maybe do with the eyes and there's things that we could do with lighting that changes how it's presented and, and reflected and stuff which would be really cool and you know hopefully you gotta hopefully you get to round two three and four and then you see some of those ideas come to life but right now we're, we're pretty excited about what happened but the only idea that's not going to happen is the dragon actually flying? Never say never. <laughs> I, I never say never. Seven years ago, I never would have thought that 
I spent, would spend all week last week installing a dragon into an NHL building, so never say never. <laughs> well, Tyler, thanks so much for the time Absolutely. and great job, Thank my you. friend. Appreciate yep. it. Well, the dragon on the castle is going to be impressive and hyping up fans for seasons to come here at the Fortress.